All right, what's up, guys? It's your boy Death Ninety Gaming here, back with another video. And one of you guys requested, well, I think a couple of you guys requested, but the, there was this like one. I, most of those comments I didn't really understood because you said one word, but I guess I understood from this one comment that some guy commented from the mixer video that he wanted to see uh, Twitch. I'll try to get all the pictures of and screenshots up on the screen of all the people requesting that they wanna wanted me to do a video on Twitch. I'll have all of them on the screen, like right now I'll try to get all of them on there and so yeah those are all the people and uh, so we're, I'm gonna show you how to do like upload your uh, twitch streams that you're recording off the Xbox one to YouTube if you want to use that for YouTube videos and, and you're recording without having to use a capture card so let's do this all right so go to your browser go to twitch dot TV you're gonna like sign into your account I'm pretty sure you can figure that out if you, if you, oh, let me just not show that all right so you're gonna sign into your account I'm pretty sure you know how to sign into your account you're sign into your account then what you want to do is go over here and then you go to the dashboard then channel then you gotta make sure automatically save broadcast for up to 14 days. That basically saves all your uh, Twitch streams and stuff like that. That's what it does. It saves all your Twitch streams and that you do on like your Xbox or even if you're just using Twitch with a capture card and stuff like that or on the computer and shit. That's what it does. It just saves all your broadcasts for up to 14 days. After 14 days, it disappears. <coughs> all right, so now. We're gonna switch on to the Xbox and I'm gonna show you how to like broadcast and stuff for any of you guys that don't know how to broadcast and stuff. I'm just gonna show you guys how to broadcast, do a little broadcast testing, and then we'll go back to the computer and show you what you need to do involving downloading. So we'll see you guys on the Xbox right about now. All right, guys, we're on the uh, Xbox now. So what you're gonna wanna do now when you're on your Xbox for Twitch, you wanna go to the, your applications and then go to Twitch. Uh, Oh, because I'm in the ready to install. Okay, I was wondering. I was like, the fuck? All right, I want to go to Twitch. You can also, if you want to, you can use Cortana and tell her to go to Twitch if you want to do that. Sometimes I do that when I'm wanting to stream to Twitch off the Xbox. I do that instead. My opinion, I prefer if you're in a record, I prefer you use Twitch because I think Twitch doesn't need that much good of an internet compared to Mixer. I feel like Mixer, you need better internet to stream good uh, stream quality because from me what I'm seeing is when I stream on mixer the quality looks worse than when I stream on twitch so I have pretty good decent internet so I don't know it's just twitch just looks better involving the quality and it's also better now involving the customization so when you have your if you have your twitch account already set up I'm not going to show you how to set that shit up because it's very complicated and I ain't wanting to have to go through that so if you do have it set up, you go to broadcast, obviously. And this is where you like create your stream and stuff like that. Uh, stream resolution, you can do whatever the fuck you want. 1080p, sometimes it might be better. It might run better if you do 720p. Sometimes it might just better in quality because it doesn't have to work as much. Bitrate, I would put it to automatic because that's just... The best to do look i did automatic and it put the max bit rate for me because my internet's good but i would go automatic because then it will just go based on what the it thinks the best internet for you now for party chat party chat is basically your friends voices when they when they include their audio it's on how loud their voices are which is a good thing that they now added to twitch now because it's very good because before it used to be where your friends voices were included with the game audio and so they were their voice was like as equally as loud as the game audio so if the game is loud like you might have a hard time like people in the videos might have a hard time hearing your friends talking because they're just as loud as the game audio so if there's a bunch of action going on it's gonna be hard for them to hear but now since they added this customization where you can make the party chat audio as a separate thing compared to the game audio it's now you can now make the party chat like louder than the game audio so now people can hear your friends a lot easier i usually recommend you put your microphone in the party chat at like 100 and then i would say put the game chat like at 50 or lower so that way 
people are able to hear your microphone and the your friend's microphones a lot better without the game audio like going through it and causing it to be hard to hear with all the action going on and so yeah and then you could put your stream name and stuff like that so let me load up a game um to show how this, what what happens when you stream Wait for the game to hurry up and load the fuck up. Okay, it's pretty much already loaded up, so let's just go back to the Twitch. Because it needs to have a game loaded up, and then you put the title. Let's just put R6S test I'm just gonna put that and then you would go to start streaming and now it shows that you're streaming then you go back to your game and then there you go and then if you want to start the YouTube video you can just be like tell your friends to include their audio and then if you have an editor you can edit all the beginning parts out involving you telling your friends to include their audio and then you start with your intro like hey what's up guys it's your boy death 98 gaming here and then there you go I'm gonna do a little, I'm gonna cut this part out, but I'm gonna record a little bit of gameplay for the f show how to download the streams and stuff for you guys. So I'm just gonna record like maybe like five minutes or two minutes or something of gameplay. And then we'll be back on the computer showing how to download. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna skip to the computer on how to download the stream right about now. Alrighty, we're back on the computer and we're back on Twitch. I would refresh the whole Twitch page thing. There we go. Then what you want to do is you want to go to video producer and your video should be there. Like see this is the one I just did five minutes and you want to click these three dots here and then you press download. Say preparing for download. Just give it a sec I guess. There you go, and you see it's downloading right here. On the screen. So five minute thing of me. There we go, and it's downloaded. All right, now we're gonna go to YouTube. And if you want to upload your thing, you go upload video. But if you want to put it in an editor and edit the video, if you have an editor, go ahead and do that. And then after you're done editing the video, take the editing the video file that you edited and do what I'm doing. And you go here. I didn't. I'm not gonna edit it, so I'm gonna go to. Uh, I'm just gonna go to quick access. Actually, yes. All right, let me just go to downloads because that's probably where it's going to be. Yep, there it is. Boop. Upload. I put I'm put on private. I recommend you put on private. Do everything you can to change, like change the title, add a description, add all that stuff. So, our 6S test. Boom. Let me put a space between that. Boop. A description but I usually do that after it's done uploading so and then after you do whatever you want put it to private done and then usually when it's done I go to the video manager all right so we're gonna skip ahead to when it's uploaded and yeah I'll be back in a couple of minutes so see you guys in a sec all right I'm back and okay the video is done uploading so usually what I tend to do is I just uh well I tend to go to open another thing but I guess you could just go to the home Go here, Creator Studio, Edit, and then this is where I go and edit stuff, like this description, add tags, 
uh, change the, the privacy to public and stuff like that. The thumbnail and shit. End cards and stuff like that. You can also create your own thumbnail. Basically, it allows you to go to any point in the video wherever you want and it goes with each frame when you press this and then when you press next you're able to add like text images and all that stuff like all these emojis and stuff like that so it's a good way if you don't want to do anything else involving customizing thumbnails you can customize the thumbnail that way which is cool so yeah the video is uploaded now if the video like right now it's 1080p because it's been there for a while but if you upload your video and right away it shows 360p as like the highest you can go of video quality don't worry that's normal that's usually just how it is when you first upload a video to youtube for like the first couple of minutes it starts off at 360p because it has to like render it up onto youtube so it has to like still kind of fixing it up i guess i don't know how to explain it but it for just a little bit, it's going to be at 360p, so I would just wait a sec, just wait a couple of minutes, and then eventually it would show 720p, 480p, and then 1080p, depending on what you put your video at, involving the editor or using the Twitch. If you put only 720p, then it's only going to give you the choice of 720p. If you put 1080p, you'll have all those choices. So, yeah. So just you just going to have to wait a couple of minutes, and then once it's that at that, once you're able to have it at 1080p, then that's when you're able to like, you know, do all this customization, go and then put it to public and then press publish. It would say publish instead of save, save changes. And yeah, and that is how you upload a video or Twitch stream that you twitched off your, uh, you, I was about to say twitched off your Xbox, uh, you streamed off your Xbox using Twitch. That's how you upload this, uh, the stream to your youtube channel that's a good way of making youtube videos just go to the twitch start streaming with your friends have them include their audio and then do your intro and stuff like that bring it onto download and onto the computer if you have an editor or some sort of editing software edit all the other parts out like the extras and stuff like that to where it only has your intro and stuff like that not you telling your friends to include your audio and all that stuff just cut all that out and then Upload it onto YouTube, and then there you go. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you all enjoy. Make sure to leave a like. If you guys want me to do anything involving PlayStation 4-wise, I won't mind showing you guys that. I'll show how to do that on a PlayStation 4 if you guys want me to. So, I hope you all enjoy. Leave a like. Share this with any friends that you might want to start that might want to start doing YouTube videos as well, but don't know about this. So, yeah, hope you all enjoy. Peace out. Have a nice day.